Yes, and if you had a nickel for every time you were asked about Leonard Fournette, you wouldn't have to be on scholarship anymore. But talk about what he's brought in this first eight, nine days of practice that gets your attention. Uh, you know, he's done a great job of just picking up the scheme and the concept so far. Uh, the biggest thing that I've seen with him is just his burst and the speed that he plays his game with. Uh, it's like none other, you know, I've never seen a tailback that plays with the speed that he plays with. And uh, I think he's done a great job so far just picking up everything and just learning. And uh, I think he's on course to have a, a, a great fall camp and ultimately have a great year. Kenny talked the other day about you and he want to do everything you can to, to keep Leonard kind of cool on his heels for a little bit. You guys want to be out there too. What are some things that you feel like you're doing well enough to be the guy to start the season? Uh, you know, I'm just going out there doing everything I'm asked to do. Uh, I'm staying on track and staying on course with my runs, uh, finishing my runs real strong, and um, trying to be uh, pretty sound and solid in pass protection and uh, not having any mental errors out there, just being uh, a leader out there on the field and a guy that, uh, you know, Leonard and Daryl and all those other guys can look at and say that, uh, you know, when they need something or they need some help on the field, don't know what's going on that they can look to. That's something that it's different between running in high school and running in college is finishing the run because a lot of times in high school nobody's going to catch you anyway. Is that something you try to impart upon those two that you better make sure that that last step's as powerful as the first? Oh uh, Yes, sir. Uh, that's something we preach here. Uh, and it's not just a running back thing. It's with every position. It's finish every play, finish every run, every catch. Because, uh, you know, the other guy that's on the other side of the ball, you know, they want to win just as bad as you do. So just because you giving up or taking a playoff, that don't mean they do. And uh, when, you, when you take plays off and you slack up, that's when injuries occur and things happen and you make mistakes and turn the ball over. What have you seen from Kenny so far? There's a guy that you've been around for a long time. He's had great moments. He's kind of fallen off the map at times, and he's back to finish the job. Uh, Kenny's a great guy, man. Uh, I love playing with Kenny. He always brings a positive mental uh, aspect to the game, and uh, no matter what's going on, and uh, he's just a fun guy to be around. Uh, when everybody's down and looking around, he's always the guy that you can look to that's going to have a smile on his face and ready to go. Uh, he's having a great fall camp. Uh, he's setting the tone for those young guys, uh, even me at times, and uh, I think he's doing a heck of a job so far. All of you guys are in, in football shape, but to me, Kenny looks like he's as, in as good a shape as he's been in since he's been here. Is that part of motivation, or is that what do you think that is? Uh, you know, I just think that came along with him growing up and realizing, uh, you know, in order for him to make it to the next, next level and have success, he's going he was going to have to drop a couple of pounds, and that was just a part of maturity and him growing up. You know, we worked out together all summer and uh, even did some extra on our own over there at the levee and whatnot, and just. How he rededicates himself to the game year in and year out, no matter what's going on, uh, is a big thing for him.